Hey guys, it's Amy again. So I have some project shares um, for you. And I wanted to, first of all, let you know I had shown this book. And I already posted the first video on how to make the artwork for the cover, which is just very, very easy. A five-year-old could do it. Um, it's just getting messy and fun and funky with paints on paper and whatever else you have laying around. Um, so this was a book that I finished and is ready to be mailed to its intended and I thought I'd show you the other books that I had done and I will be posting the other videos on how to make the book so how to make the pages on the inside how to make the cover and how to put it all together so I will be posting those videos but this is another book that I made and I really love this one um it's this is from a napkin I cut it out and I mod podged it on there um, and this is the inside. So this would be a great art journal and I'll get to the art journaling thing in a minute. But um, I really like the way this one turned out. Um, I, I love the covers that are just free form. You know, there's, you know, there's no like real um, design to them, I guess. I don't know. They're just, they're just art journals. They're just mixed media art journals. So and this is the other one I made, and I also really like this one. It has some origami paper in it, and I used some burlap to make some texture with gold paint, and there's just all kinds of different inks and, and paints on there, um, splatters of ink and things like that. So it's just a lot of fun to get messy, and it inspired my new, my new hobby, uh, which I just started. So this one, um, I think this one turned out really great, and... It's definitely a gift for someone and then I just made one this one's very simple um, I used a cinch which is like a book binding system um, to I just did a, what is this stuff called chipboard and I um, glued my little art onto it cut it up and glued it on there and um, so this one's really easy and then you just cut the pages to the size you want them and bind them up and you've got another little book there so I'll definitely be making more books and I will be making tutorials on how to make books but instead of showing you how to do the spiral bound one or the ring bound one I will show you how to do the hardcover one so that will be coming up hopefully later in the week so working on the artwork for the covers of those books got me to finally <laughs> after years and years of thinking about it, of wanting to do it, of being intimidated by it and just not sure and, and thinking, oh, well, it really has no function or purpose, so, you know, I'm not going to do it. Um, I finally started my own art journal. So, um, and I have to say, I'm very inspired by my friend Rosa, Rosa Aquino. I will link her down below. And many other YouTubers that don't know me, but I watch their videos. Um, and people who just do art like just free form you know it's nothing it's no patterns it's no you know preciseness it's just like a free flow like <laughs> therapeutic thing um which I always thought would be really hard for me because I'm always very OCD about stuff and lining things up and having, having everything in order and neat and um this is just the total opposite of that and um it's actually exactly what I need in my life right now because after running to Chukwai.com for the past year and then just closing it now, I just need something to just let myself, let my hair down and just let it all out and hang loose and all that stuff. So, um, so this is my art journal and I've done two pages so far. So I thought I would share them with you. Um, so this one is, um, it's two page spread. And what I did was I painted a bunch of different blues on the background and then I covered it in white school glue. And then I heated it up with my heat gun, my embossing tool, this here. And what that does is it makes the glue bubble and um, it just, it looks really cool. And I saw this on his channel. I will link it down below. I believe it's called Imperfect Impulses. And I just discovered his channel like two days ago and I've been obsessively watching his videos because he's super funny and he did this 
on his um, on one of his journal pages and I thought wow that kind of looks like the sea you know like it looks like the ocean he had then put some browns and things on it but I decided I wanted to do like an ocean or sea type page so it says life is a voyage and this book is going to be um, like just sort of like an inspirational book for me like just little motivational phrases or words or just stuff I love stuff that you know will motivate me or whatever so um down here I don't know if you can see this this is supposed to look like sand or land I guess and what I use this stuff is super cool it's called pearl mica flakes and it looks like that but I just inked it up so that it would have like that sort of sandy color um I just used like a tannish brownish ink I guess um, and then I use like an old uh, paper bag to make a little sailboat bottom and then tissue paper to make the sails. And there's some embossing powder on here and stuff. And yeah, it just says life is a voyage. And that is that page. <laughs> so then another page that was inspired by Imperfect Impulses is this one because he did a Poppy's page and his was way more elaborate than mine. Now, I've never done anything like this before, so, um, you know, I'm just learning. But anyways, and I, I don't think you're supposed to be directly inspired like that way by videos, but I loved the poppies so much, and his were much better. Um, but I love the color, and I don't know. I just love poppies. I love flowers. So um, this one says, there is no room for fear, only possibilities. So um, these were finger painted on with acrylic paint and then I dripped the green paint, I mixed it with water, drip, you know, put drips there and then held the book up and let it drip down to make the stems. And then I just splattered paint, I did polka dots, um, I embossed uh, on the flowers with um, the ultra thick embossing powder. And that is that. And then I, oh, I just did some shading around the edges with the gelatos. So that is my second page. Um, and there are many, more, many, many, many more pages to go. But I'm super inspired to work on this now. Like I said, I've always been, I don't know, intimidated or just not sure if this was going to be for me doing art journaling. Um, but I'm not into writing in a journal anymore like I did as a teenager. Uh, and in my 20s so this is kind of a good way to still journal but without having to write stuff I guess um, and get some of that creative stuff out of you you know that you not out of you but going I guess um, so yeah so that's my art journal I hope you like it I'll have to decorate the cover and everything too and those are my books and thank you so much for watching again I promise I will have the tutorial on these coming up in the next few days so i hope you'll stay tuned for that and i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye